What's going on, everyone? It's Brucey e. Sprue with the third video in my Nothing Special series where I max a main account as an average player, do as much content as possible, and make videos of my journey along the way. Today, I have a KBD guide. It's only fitting I got a KBD task right after my Blue Dragon task, and right after KBD, I got DK, so that will be the next video for you all. But let's get into this guide first. KBD has no strict requirements. You could come here as early as level 3 if you wanted. It is recommended to have 80 plus in your combats or ranged if you're ranging, but you can get by with lower. 70 prayer for piety, 74 for rigor if you can't afford it. And you can come here with some friends, so keep that in mind if you want to tackle the content a bit earlier, make it a bit more fun or a bit more easy on yourself. I will throw up the wiki recommended gear here on the screen. For you guys to take a look at the most important thing is a shield that has some form of dragon fire protection uh, if i'm feeling silly sometimes i'll bring a torch or a zerker ring but i do use a glory and a ring of recoil as shown here i don't mind risking the dragon boots and the barrels gloves as well i like to keep my total risk about 200k ish because kbd is in the wilderness and although it's a short walk to him from the tellies you use you can get pk'd However, out of the 200 plus kills I have, I've only been PK'd once. I try to come late at night or early in the morning. For the inventory, you will want some type of anti dragon fire potion and some form of anti poison, a super combat or a ranging potion if you're ranging, and three to four super restores. If you're bringing a ring of recoil, I like to bring an extra. I'll be using a burning ammy for the teleport. I found that's the easiest method and a teleport out as well as some high-level food. To get there, I, I do think the Burning Amulet is best. However, I'll show you on the map real quick. You can also use a Goric Teleport here if you have the Desert Treasure Quest done, or if you have the Wildy Hard Diaries done, you can use the Obelisk, and it is a short run southeast here instead of just running from the, uh, the Burning Amulet if you can't do that. You'll then just open the gate and go into the lair. Um... So, let's get into an example kill here. Now, KBD is an um, open instance, so you can run into other people here, or they can crash you. You can pay 50k to create a solo instance, but people normally just leave, so I don't recommend it. And KBD is notorious for dropping fairly low loot. So I'll use the Burning Ammy here, throw on Protect from Mage. If there's another player, I'll throw on Protect Item. Uh, but no one is here, so I'll open the gate and go down the ladder. The kill is pretty simple. You'll want to pot up and then telly in. We will immediately be turning on Protect from Melee, and you'll want to stand directly next to KBD and attack him regardless if you are meleeing or ranging. The reason we do this is to have a chance at KBD meleeing us and not taking any damage, and us not taking any damage, rather than having a chance of a dragon fire attack, which will damage us. The only exception really is if you're using a bow for a twisted bow, uh, you would want to stand back and pray mage or use a shield swap to help reduce the damage you would take from the dragon fire. It's recommended to heal up, pot up at the end of the fight so that you don't waste time eating and do as much DPS as possible. However, sometimes KBD can hammer you, so you would just want to walk underneath him and eat so that he cannot attack you. All right, so KBD's down. I'm gonna just eat here, restore my prayer, just get my loot real quick. And it's pretty simple. You'll just want to repeat the same process. There's nothing crazy going on. KBD just has a melee attack and four dragon fires. The only real special mechanics it has is it can freeze you for six seconds and it can drain a bit of your stats. That's why we bring the super restores. All right, I will let this kill finish up. I'll show you guys the loot I received. KBD doesn't generate a lot of GP, but you do have a chance at some good items like a Dragon Pickaxe, Draconic Visage, and the Prince Black Dragon Pet. Everything else is pretty subpar. The Dragon Hide and Bones usually make you the most GP, but you can get Dragon items and resources as well. 
I'm not going to bother you guys showing the uh, what I sold the loot for, but if you're interested, that is what I made from 12 kills. Fairly pathetic, um, but that is it, everyone. That is a KBD guide. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you're excited for future content, please subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one where I do a guide of DKs and some loot from the task. Take care. Peace.